This is Houston Newsmakers with Cambrell Marshall. And welcome to Houston Newsmakers and this week's special guest, State Senator John Whitmire. Good morning, sir. Hey, Cambrell. Anything going on in your life? Yeah. <laughs> very busy, very busy, but uh, very encouraging and interesting, and I'm enjoying it. Well, you know what? It, it, last month you made it official. Uh, the, you, you made it unofficial. You made an announcement about a year ago. But yes. then just last month you made it official with an official announcement um, that um, you're indeed running for the top job, the city of Houston. Uh, what was it that made you want to take that step? To make a difference in Houston, to fix problems, to make Houston work better. I was asked to uh, consider running for mayor by constituents, Houstonians that I respect and listen to. And after going over the issues that they felt that were important, I shared those concerns. I live in Houston. I drive the streets of Houston. And every day, I witness things that can be done better. We're a great city, and we can become greater if we fix today's problems. Was there something that was going on in the Senate that you lost interest in doing it, or it was, it was just about that fact no. that it was another tug to do something? No, no. I love the Senate, but I love Houston more. Mm -hmm. So I'm a public servant. I go where problems are. And quite frankly, I think I can use my experience better, more effectively in Houston today than in Austin. I've been fighting Houston's issues in Austin for 50 years. Mm. Uh, I was the chair of the committee that dealt with city and county issues. So I've worked with nine mayors. Uh, I understand public safety. So city services are in critical disrepair. You know, you shouldn't put your garbage can out and cross your fingers that it's going to be picked up that day. Our streets are in horrible condition. You take six months to get a permit if you want to open a business in Houston. I just know we can do better. I want us to continue to progress and be a great city, a greater city. I could spend all morning talking about our assets, the Med Center, the Port, NASA, our diversity. Mm -hmm. But if we don't concentrate on today's problems, we're not going to remain a great city. And of course, crime is a major concern. And I understand crime as chairman of criminal justice. Right. I know for a fact I can make a difference for public safety. We have 87 police agencies in Harris County, 13,000 law enforcement officers, but they don't talk to each other. We never invite the state troopers to come in and help us with traffic enforcement. Why that would free up our HPD officers to spend time in our neighborhood. So I'm responding to my neighbors. Uh, we have traffic issues. We've done very little for flood control. The city's drainage system is in dire need of maintenance. And just two weeks ago, two weeks ago, we had missed school and work because of the concerns for our quality of our water. So I'm ready to go to work. I'm fired up. I've gotten a lot of encouragement and a lot of diverse support. And uh, it would be a sin for me to waste that experience in context. We need somebody that can work with Austin. When we have a crisis, we need someone that can pick up the phone and get immediate attention in Austin. The new land commissioner that controls the Harvey funding is a Senate colleague of mine. Don Buckingham and I have already visited how we can make certain that Houston gets its fair share of Harvey funding. So I noticed that when you made your announcement, there yes. was a serious bipartisan flavor in the room. Uh, big room, a lot of people in that room, um, people with deep pockets, too. Your uh, f political, your finance guy is uh, somebody who is uh, somebody who's well known. And as a guy who is, you know, you see the diverse pictures there of this, your state senator, Carol Alvarado, you had this Houston council member, uh, Chief Acevedo, president of the University of Houston, your alma mater there. What is it about that group? Because there's such a diverse group of folk there. And the city of Houston is bipartisan, typically, as a race, but it really isn't. And, but in that crowd, it was a bipartisan. Well, Houston is bipartisan. And trash pickup is not a Republican or Democratic issue. Bad streets are not Republican or Democratic issues. We need to bring everyone together. And I have the ability to do that. I have a record of working across the aisle. I believe there's a time to campaign in November you put the politics on the sidelines, and then you sit down at the table and be collaborative and solve our problems. And I can do it, have done it, and there's actually no one in the race that can pick up the phone and get immediate response during a crisis, which we'll so badly need in Austin and Washington. So you, you, we'll talk more about that as well sure. coming up. But you said, you know, criminal justice committee, you're chair of that, at, 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 and so 
the crime was going to be one of the issues you're going to tackle. No what, question. What kind of things do you see right now that are not being done that you would like to see done that would make a difference? First of all, we've got to let our police agencies talk with one another. Metro has 300 officers. They protect the transit lines. We need to talk to them about working with HBD, about getting into the neighborhood. HISD has over 200 officers. What do they do when schools are closed? We need to have them work with HPD in our neighborhood. TSU, U of H, the Med Center, they're not even on a radio system where they can talk to one another. So I want a chief of police that brings everyone together. We have a surge to fight crime and let the bad guys know, if I'm elected mayor, you better relocate because you're not gonna like what's gonna happen to you. I have a record of being very reasonable but tough on criminal justice. I believe you lock up the people that you're afraid of, not those that you're mad at, which would get us to the homeless issue. The homeless issue has to be addressed more effectively. Many candidates can come before you and talk about the problems, but I've been in public service long enough to have solutions. The Haven for Hope in San Antonio is a model for how to get homeless people off the streets. We must do that. What I know for a fact corporations in downtown Houston trying to encourage their workers to come from home. One of the polling data shows they do not want to engage the homeless. So if we're going to continue to be as great as we are and go forward, we've got to solve today's problems. What kind of things are, you, are, are being done in the Austin situation or the programs that you saw working well that's not being done here in Houston? Well, it's, it, it, well, quite frankly, I don't think Austin is dealing effectively with their homeless issue. In fact, they allowed it to take over downtown. San Antonio, because it's a tourist location, mm -hmm. a yeah. destination, the Riverwalk, they can't have a homeless problem. So they've gotten the private sector, which I will be able to work with and collaborate with the city and the county. We've got to have city and county cooperation and, and, and quite frankly, get the state involved. We have a surplus. Let's spend some of that money on flood control, the homeless condition, public safety, our infrastructure. You know, I, I'll, I'll emphasize again, we can't afford in a great city to take off two days of school. Do you know how many kids, thousands in Houston miss the only meals they get in a day, a free lunch and a free breakfast because they didn't go to school. Families couldn't find someone to supervise the children. Last two weeks ago, we had six-year-olds being supervised by 11-year-olds because of our infrastructure. And quite frankly, I think the incompetence of people that run our east side water plant. So I'm here to make a difference. I'm not here to start a political career. <laughs> I've had a very distinguished career. I'm here to fix things, and I'm known as a fixer. Well, we're going to talk more uh, with Senator Whitmire after the break, and we're going to talk to you about what you can do better in a number of different areas, including, you know, the past eight years in Houston, you've been doing great work in the legislature. Now the legislative session is starting to come up again. We're going to talk to you about your priorities there and how you can do both of those while you're running for the city of Houston. Hold that thought. We'll do that after the break. I'm ready. Okay.